What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Johnny Electrics. Yeah, uh, another intro where Christy is not here for the intro. I'm actually, I just got done at my gym lifting, so Christy's at home. Everyone, I was thinking to myself what we could do to, to put another smile on your face, and I, I thought, you know what? We have never actually done a video where we've eaten at, actually, you know, we can't eat at a particular place right now because everything's closed down, but we can still order from particular places that are open. And uh, you know what, before I get into this, I wanna say that there's, I guess, eating at the number one rated place or eating at the number one worst reviewed place you, was a trend going around YouTube for like the longest time. I never really got a chance to do any of those types of videos. So this is my first, or I should say our first one of those videos because we're gonna eat at the number one rated sandwich place in San Diego, California, which is where we live. I gotta tell you guys right now, you are in for a treat. And actually we're in for a treat too because I haven't had this in a long time. Board and Brew is a legendary sandwich place here in San Diego. If you're a San Diego native, you will know about Board and Brew. They make amazing sandwiches. And it's, it's pretty much one of those places, like if you don't know about Board and Brew sandwiches and you consider yourself native to San Diego, I don't wanna say you should be ashamed of yourself, but. You really gotta get out and eat more food. Anyways, folks, so we're gonna get some legendary sandwiches. I got my order already scheduled for Board and Brew, so I'm just gonna go roll in there and pick it up. And we're gonna get to another mukbang. What's up, everybody? Um, so we have our delicious um, sandwiches. Should we address your new hairstyle? Where we can see your face again? It feels amazing. Uh, this is actually the first video where people are actually going to see the new hair. My mom said that on the last video. Ooh, ooh. There you go with the picking again. No, babe. Yeah. I deal with this every single time. Oh, stop. Ouch. My mom said that in the comments of the last video, asked, we're talking about me cutting your hair. Uh, a lot of people wanted you, well actually a lot of people thought that you cut my hair. So, um, here's what we're going to do. Well, hopefully you guys like the new haircut. All that matters is if you do, but we can see your ears again. I got my ears lowered. The first thing we're gonna do, everybody, uh, we like unpackaging items that we get in our PO box, and so I got this one. This is actually addressed to Eric the Electric. So, um, so nobody loves me. That's okay. No, everyone loves me. Mm -hmm. I like bubble wrap. I don't know what fruit cup it is, but it looks like it's soda. Some juice. 12 canets. Uh, made with real fruit. Is it carbonated? I don't know. Um, oh, it's a 10% juice blend of apple and pineapple. Well, shout out to whoever sent that. It came from Tony P in Ooh. Canada. Well, thank you for sending that yeah, over. We'll that be sure to sweet. try that out one of these days. Uh, maybe in our next, like, unboxing or goodies video that we do. If we ever do one of those. We haven't done one of those in a while. Yeah. Speaking of goodies, we have the best sandwiches in San Diego. The number one. The number one. Okay, so I have to say that there is not like a tentative like sandwich list, um, but I basically, I, I, I compiled this one. I put this one together, okay? Because as a San Diego native, this is number one to me. So you've had this before? I've had this once before. Okay. And it was a really awkward date. Okay. <laughs> what's, the, what's the smell for? No, sometimes, that... sometimes you just surprise me. Like, some of the places your stories have to do with, it's always a bad date. I don't think you That's not, wow. I don't think you've ever told me a story where you went on, like, a good date. That's because I've, I haven't had many good dates. <laughs> so... Um, but anyways, I got a wide variety oh. of sandwiches tonight. I got you a salad because I yeah. and I got it with no cheese and the dressing on the side. You nailed it. Okay, so the so obviously the salad. Can I get this? Yeah, feel free. Um, the first one. This is a turkey sub, I believe. Probably Ooh, the that best. That's good. One thing I do remember from uh, Board and Brew is that they have really good bread. And so that is the turkey club right there. Yeah, the bread looks super fresh. Yeah, that's, um, have you ever been to Togo's before? Mm -mm. Togo's is my favorite sandwich. I don't actually think they all went out of business. Togo's is my favorite sandwich, uh, sandwich place of all time. I, like when you look at the bread, 
Um, and that's what the bread was all. You can just photos. see like the binding of the gluten and everything. Like it's just a really the tight, gluten. tight bread. It's tight bread. <laughs> I know what you're trying to say. I know what you're trying to say. Um, I'm tired. This next one is, uh, I think this is an Italian sandwich right here. Um, so this one has, I believe, is that is that salami? It looks like ham. Ham? And then this one. <clears throat> that looks like, that looks like school white bread. That looks like. I think it's sourdough. Yeah, it's sourdough. Oh. Sourdough. Can Sourdough. you custom the breads and everything? You can do anything you want at Board and Brew. Ooh, anything. Anything. This is the biggest one. And this one is the... This good. This is a spicy Italian, I believe. Um, oh, it's got mustard on it. Uh-oh. Well, that's going to be crispy. Are there banana peppers on there? Yeah, there's, this is like the ultimate loaded sandwich right here. So what we're going to do for this thumbnail... Put this beast. How much was everything? Uh, I think it was like 43 bucks. All right, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we we have our thumbnail situated. <laughs> I I never like include the uh, the thumbnail footage, and I think I just might that time. You should not. I always used to. Mm. Oh my gosh. Off to a good start. What? It tastes like... These nuts. No, definitely not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not as good as It's like nuts. mango. Oh, I'm definitely not going to like that then. I can't tell. It's fruity. I don't like fruit flavored like sausage. Peach. I love it. The chicken is actually really good, though. The chicken's very good. Shout out to us for not using. Oh, we have utensils. Um, okay. There's, I think that's Caesar. It's good. So, before we get into an actual sandwich. I don't think I've had a sandwich for a long time. There's probably going to be a lot of people who are like, Why are you drinking beer? Huh? You an alcoholic? He needs to relax. What is that supposed to mean? Today. I have been very upset today. Yes. I just haven't felt, I've just been felt, I've been feeling very anxious and stressed and it's just like, oh. Is it because you're creating your own stress? We all create our own stress. No, or somebody external putting pressure on you to do you know, Oh, projects, there's, always, like, there's always external stress. But it's mostly just relax. my mind. Go do it. You're not done. Oh, what a weirdo. Um, okay. So which one do you want to get into first? The school sandwich. Before we do though, we want you guys, if you uh, like these number one rated videos, I was thinking next one, we could do the number one rated donut donut place. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, this would be so good with sprouts on it. Do you ever put sprouts on a sandwich? No. It's um, actually really good. It reminds me of my grandma. Shout out to Chrissy's grandma. <laughs> Mm. It tastes like. Is there bacon on it? Yeah, that is the inside look. Yeah, um, I. Uh, it's just full of veggies. The, it's like the a thing. Good the thing about Borden Brew is that you can taste the freshness like in the bread. Like. Holy crap! That's a good sandwich. The bread is like my favorite thing in Borden Brew. Oh yeah, the ah. mayo on there is really good. It'd be I really good. I thought you didn't like mayonnaise. No, I really like me. mayo. May mayonnaise? You know what mayonnaise is, is in Spanish? What? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise? Mayonnaise. That's so funny. Okay, don't get mad at me. Why? She's such a good girl and you yelled at her. This is here. literally why she's right there at every video. what my mom told me? My mom watches these videos. She's like, you can't really hear her lapping up water and you really can't hear her breathing. Tell Eric we don't care. We love Athena. So let Athena do her thing and let her be Athena. And I said, it's better to have lapping dog water. Lapping dog water? A dog lapping water. I'm struggling with it. A dog struggling more than me. 
A dog lapping water versus a baby crying. So. Oh yeah. I, in that, be in nice that to case. Her. I don't know why people keep asking us if we're having children. Somebody commented on my one of my posts today and asked if we broke up and then she immediately commented after and said, it's okay, you were too good for him anyway. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> Are you sure that's what you said? You didn't go, uh-huh. Well, I don't know, some girl, I don't know. I was like, I don't know where you live in that though. That's a girl I probably like blocked for being mm -hmm. creepy. I don't know. It's always it's always people who leave the like stupid comments. No offense. Not really. <gasps> that have pro private. No offense. <laughs> you guys leave a lot of really dumb comments. Stupid. They always have a private profile. They always do. So you can't like scope them out and be like, is this person normal? Like, do they have a normal life? Or they're a little bit weird. Here's what I've realized about people that make comments like that. Number one, it's always a private, it's a, it, it always. is always private. Number two, the profile picture is never actually them. Nope. It is, it, if it is them, it's like, it, it's like somebody with glasses it's on. It's like somebody Or somebody in a hoodie, mm -hmm. or somebody that's like not actually, they don't want themselves to be visible. Yeah. If it's not them, number three, it's, it, it is either an anime character, it is a a cat. a cat with glasses on. It is a an animal of some sort. It's an animal of some sort. It's a uh, or it's a celebrity. It, it's a celebrity or it's a sports player. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how many Michael Jordan and, Spo and SpongeBob and SpongeBob? There's a lot of SpongeBob too. <laughs> or a video game character. Um, those are just the common things that people like to troll with. I don't know what it is, but that 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 like every time I see some like I'll open up a DM and someone's like, dude, like looking like extra chubby today or looking extra like gross or ugly today or looking like it's i'm like if i see that first i'll be like man that's really and then i'll just be like my mind will be like oh it's a spongebob profile picture completely irrelevant uh, so matter. so the same so eric's taught me a lot about who was i talking to about we were talking about social media and um before i met you i was you know, I had an Instagram account. Like, I had, I had a decent following. I just, I was surrounded by so much love and support and positivity. And then I met him and he introduced me to the very dark world of YouTube. Where I was like... Oh, people, YouTube's crazy. I was like, people actually say that? Instagram is one thing, but um, Facebook, Instagram, they're like on the scale of, of savagery with people, they're usually like a three or a four, but YouTube, as you've realized, is like a seven or an eight. Because YouTube, you don't have a profile attached to yeah. your name. It's uh -huh. just your username. Like we can't scope you out or anything like that. And yeah, it's a very, very, so like people just say whatever they want. My mom reads the comments for me. <laughs> lay down. You have a nice little bed. She doesn't even lay on the bed. No. Um, but yeah, for the, for the most part, like 99, I wouldn't actually say that high of a number, like 90% of the comments are very positive. On oh, on this channel, but on yours? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. I, I don't, after the first day, I don't read, I don't read the comments. Well, actually, I do read the comments, like when I'm really, 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 really bored and I really, I just want to hate myself. I only read comments <laughs> if I'm feeling really good about myself because even even some of the comments that you're just like if you don't have anything nice to say like why point it out that's true it, it's I, like you cannot please anybody it's that that's one thing but when people take it a step further and actually like then like make up stuff about people and then they like they they post it on every video or post it on other videos of like that aren't even on our channel or on my channel and then they just like they let these like they like manufacture things in their head that like they think are true that aren't even like I think somebody like they oh this is a this is actually well, sometimes it can get serious like somebody actually made up this this story that I had like had this relationship with like somebody that was their age. Oh, I remember that. And I was like, I, w I, I saw that and that was like 2018, 2019 or something we like that. We were together. Yeah, and somebody made that up and was like posting that on other YouTube, like on our on our, our videos and like other other videos of other people's YouTube channels. And I'm like, 
like my friends and stuff like that. I would like go on, I think it was on like John's, a few John's videos. And that's like a serious thing. That is a huge accusation. A, I would never even fathom doing something like that. And B, like, how do you, how do you like, like that, that's how, just, that, that's just making yeah. up something about somebody that like is, is, is seriously just like, why would you so want to try to do, ooh, what's on your finger? It's on my finger? Yeah. Oh, those from changing my tires. Oh, why, why is it black? Cause it's a scab. Oh, no, just don't pick it over the food. Um, but like that stuff is like, that can seriously, cause, be, cause then the, the main problem here is when people actually like read that and they believe it. Yep. Like the amount of crap that goes like, online that people just like manufacture about other people is just like it's it's one thing to like make up something and just like that's weird but then to actually like spread it around like dude get a life man um literally though um anyways that's enough about that just know i've never done that before and the one the whole point point was is that I can't remember. The internet, the internet's crazy. Yeah, the internet's crazy. like so dark. Ooh, babe, we have some mustard on here. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a bitch. You should say that more often. I do. I just don't know. You really don't say, say you never, you, you've never, you haven't said that in a long time. Um, Cause I don't want to hurt your feelings and actually. It's not hurting my feelings. Bad. I'm just going to put some Caesar, whatever. Uh, I think it's like Italian. It's good, whatever it is. Get your half. Oh. Goodness, this is, this is the electrics. Ooh. I like this kind of bread. What did you put on it? I want to put the sweet stuff on it. There's a tomato on there, are you okay with that? Yeah, these tomatoes aren't bad. What makes a good versus a bad tomato? Oh, you can just tell the quality. Like this looks like a, <laughs> you totally can't, like on the burger ones, they're like Okay, I get nasty. it, I get it. Okay, these look like garden fresh. Wow, that is like the mustard is needed. It's good. It's actually really good. Like that is that is Flavor City right there. The sweet sauce on it is really good. Put some on there. I don't like the sweet sauce. It's tasty. Babe, it's it it's it's like pineapple mango or something. I, it's delicious. I'm just gonna say the mustard or whatever they have on it is really good. Okay, so the problem is, is that the sandwich is so big, I can't put it in my mouth. So, we're gonna take the bottom bun off so I can actually get them tried in a bit. The bread is so thick. Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm gonna say that this has been the best sandwich so far. The banana peppers, like it's just like an explosion of like, flavor. Flavor City. I want to say Flavor Town, but then I sound like Guy Fury. Guy Fury. 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 I don't know what that is. Guy Fury, you don't know who that is? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. You've never watched Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that was his name. Yeah, but I No, he didn't say yeah, but I do. He says some uh, just weird stuff. He's the guy stuff. with the white spiky hair, right? Yeah. Um, he always says Flavor Town. Welcome to Flavor Town! Or however he talks. Um, yeah, I, I'm a huge fan of this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bite. I'm not a fan of the. Uh, I don't like. Pro, I think it's probably and cheese. I'm gonna bite, it, bite into it like Christy, she's like. Yeah, it's solid. That's definitely my favorite sandwich so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say it's pretty good. I used to not like banana peppers. You said you've been in New York, right? I've been to New York with you, babe. Or, um, <laughs> that's a dumb question. I'm sorry, it's been a long day. I wasn't thinking. Um, before we went, you went to New uh -huh. York. Did you ever go to Cat's Deli? Mm -mm. Oh, it's one of the most famous delis in the world. Um, have they you been? Ha yeah. Um, they have these, um... When did you go without me? I filmed a TV show. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, they have these, uh... Do you roast beef sandwiches that are, like, out of this world delicious. Mm -hmm. So the next time, if we do go back to New York... Okay, well that sandwich, highly recommend. 
Okay. It's time to move on to the one we uh, we open first. We unpackage first. Which one is this? So this one is just I think it's just turkey. And yes. Lettuce. It's just turkey and lettuce. Are you uh, gonna be having that? Um, I'm going to doctor this up a little bit though, because. I, we'll, we'll call it saucy sauce because that's mm -hmm. what you like to call it. Saucy sauce? When do I say that? You always say, give it some saucy sauce. <laughs> I do? Yeah, that's your, like, that's your saying. I didn't know that. Overall, though, it's a good sandwich. This bread is just like, it's good, it's just a little dry. That's the, the main downside. But, um,. Yeah, no, it's definitely good. Are you sure it's not chicken? No, it's definitely not chicken. Um, I just like the softness mm. of the bread. It's kind of hey. soft like your breasts. Breasts. That is, my boobs don't feel like that. Oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> I was just about to say, like, it, it's pretty similar. Like, well, they're, just... they're silicone, so it's like gummy bear. That doesn't feel like <laughs> I'm just gonna say, babe, you're the first person that I've ever, well. Been with with a boob job? Yeah, so like I, every everything I touch with a similar consistency. Okay, and just to answer this, because I know there's gonna be a crazy amount of comments. I've had them done, <clears throat> I got them done I believe in 2013, so I've had them for about seven years. No regrets, absolutely love them. 355 cc, no, 325 cc, 325 cc silicone high profile. Got him done in Boise, Idaho. Dr. Kramer, he's amazing. What what makes a low profile versus high profile? So, so from. Oh, well, it's getting serious. Do you want me to actually demonstrate this? So like, so a high I'm profile. Sure all the 13 year old boys would love for okay. you to demonstrate. <clears throat> so you can get implants that are like thicker that stick out farther, or you can get them wider. Okay. So I didn't want implants that came out to the side. I wanted it to be. Why would you want them to come out to the side? Some girls like looking boobs. Some girls do. And so they want them out to the side. They want them more wider. I wanted mine to fit my chest cavity. And so I wanted them high profile to have curve. So there's your. Just in case you guys wanted to know. Um, overall, uh, what was your favorite sandwich? The one with the banana peppers. This one? Mm hmm Yeah, we clearly like that one. Um, that one was also my favorite sandwich for sure. This one's good too. I would say, since this is a video about the number one rated sandwich place, it definitely lives up to the hype. Oh, if yeah. We, if we do more good. of these number one rated videos, or worst, re worst re rated re videos, we can do the, the, the worst re uh, reviewed. What if we get food poisoning? That's really gonna suck, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it anyways. We're gonna go through the pain. Uh, Board and Brew lives up to the hype. If you're in San Diego, everybody, or Southern California, I'm pretty sure they have other locations in. Holy crap, and, that is so good. Pretty sure they have other locations in Southern California. So if you guys are ever in Southern California, definitely check them out. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this type of video, be sure to let us know down in the comments below, and we'll be sure to do more. Babe, I have to tell you, I really enjoyed it. I'm glad you did. Oh, very good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Without further ado, the electrics are out. I'm gonna start saying, go make me a sandwich. <laughs>